Oh, you may praise this song. Amen. Come on, let's worship him together. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. If it had not been for the shedding of his blood, if it had not been for God's amazing love, it's What a wretched soul I've been. But through the power of His grace, I've been set free. And now my life's been changed. I've been rearranged. nail prints Listen now. in his hand. Tell it, tell it. If it had not been we for be. God's Man. salvation plan, there would be no hope. When he conquered the grave, victory came to him. And now my life's been changed. I've been rearranged. Sin has no hope.
place there for a second. Hold your place for a second. You need to ask yourself that question this morning. If it had not been for him, where would you be at this morning? Amen. And then when you come to the respond to that, you're going to begin to true worship because you know it's the Lord that kept you and brought you through. Nothing that you've done, but what all that he has done for you. Where would I be if it had not been for Jesus? Where would you be at? Just meditate on that just for a second this morning. Where would you be at? Oh, don't tell me we can't see. Don't tell me we don't have an understanding. We wouldn't be here if it had not been for Jesus. Woo, glory, glory. Sing one more chorus of it. If it had not been for Jesus. If it had not been. I'm not talking about your mom and daddy now. For the shedding of his blood. If it had not been for God's amazing love, it's plain to see what a wretched soul I've been. you to sing that song before we leave up there. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let the church say amen. If you have your Bible this morning, while you're standing to your feet, I want you to turn to the book of John, chapter 20. In the book of John, very familiar scriptures. John, chapter 20, beginning with verse 24, and you'll hear it in 25. Where I feel like the Lord has led me this morning to speak unto us. Amen. To help us and praise the Lord to get us on the right direction. I mean, not times we got to get on the right direction. We got to get on the right course. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen to what John is declaring here. But Thomas, one of the twelve called Didas, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, 
We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the prints of the nails, and put my finger unto the prints of the nails, and thrust my hand unto his side, I will not believe. Boy, there ain't no confidence there, is it? I mean, it's all going out the door. I mean, none at all. I mean, here's all the 12 is sitting there. And how many of them more just there with them? And they, they're trying to tell him, Jesus just came and appeared unto us. He, I mean, I mean, it wasn't like it was a different story from each one. All was on the same level talking the same thing. But he said, boy, that sounds just like folks. Except I shall see him, I will not believe. I believe this, before I go to my message, I believe this, if God would show us, and to the point that we believe, I believe we would have to hide our face because we think that we believe a lot. But we have to be shown more than we have to be believe. That's that's our character. We we like, as Brother Harris said, we like the old bazir meal, meal. You got to prove it to them. You got to show it to them. But Jesus said, Blessed is he that believeth and have not seen. That's my title. Blessed for he that is not seen. But only believe. You can take your seat this morning. Just for a few minutes. Just for a few minutes. Just for a few minutes. Now we know that Thomas is one of the ones that was called out just like you and I is called out. So we're not not talking about a stranger off the street. We're not talking about somebody was it in the rims of it. We're not talking about somebody that hadn't been in the midst of, of the miracles. We're not talking about somebody hasn't seen what God Christ has done. We're not talking about somebody that's not fellowship with the church. We're talking about the ones that's been fellowship with the church, uh, that's walked with Christ, uh, that's eat with Christ, amen, uh, that's seen the miracles of Christ, amen, that's seen the mighty works that God, Christ has done. We talk talking about somebody that slept with him. we talking about somebody that was called out by him. Amen. We're not talking about somebody atheist out there. We're talking about a believer was supposed to be a believer. Amen. Could I tell you and me this morning, praise the Lord, faith does not fail. Praise the Lord. I said faith does not fail. Praise God because he is the author and the finisher of faith. And faith cannot fail. It's in possible for faith to fail praise the lord but what the greatest problem is with the church is the believing part of it praise the lord amen sometimes we'll really god unless god shows us and amen and talk strictly to us we just not going to believe the report amen i want to tell you my friend amen god is speaking whether you believe it or not amen i said god God is speaking unto you and I, whether we give an ear to it or not, I believe it, but I want to tell you, amen, faith is God's responsibility, amen, but believe it is my responsibility, praise the Lord, I must believe that he is the Christ, I must believe and I come to him that he is a reward to those that diligently seek him, I must believe that he died for my sins and he 
rose again the third day. I must believe that. You must believe that if you plan to get anything from God, you're going to believe the work that he has done for your life. You're going to believe what he's done. Amen. Lord, you got upon the earth and left for you and I. you got to believe what he is going away to prepare. If you and I are going to see him. Amen. Too many times, Lord, to God, we think God is supposed to believe for us. But that is your responsibility to believe. And we believe in a lot of things. You believe in your own little self. You believe in your own little mind. You believe in your own, amen, your walk. You believe in your own knowledge. You believe in your own abilities. But, honey, if we don't believe in God, I'm telling you, we, you and I am going to fail because knowledge is going to fail. Words is going to fail. Amen. Tongues is going to cease. But he said, not my word. It's going to stand forever because why? He is the living word for you and I this morning. But Thomas is one of the ones. Amen. Has been there by the shores of Galilee. He's seen as Christ began to open the blinded eyes. Lord to God, you and I has been in some places that we've seen Christ as he began to move. My wife just witnessed. Amen. With her own sister. Praise the Lord. Lord to God, I want to tell you. Amen. I'm telling you, if you and I don't begin to believe, we're not going to see nothing else. I got to believe God is give me that measure of faith because faith cannot fail. Amen. Because, Lord to God, he is the author and the finisher of him. But I want to tell you, my belief can fail. My belief can come short. My belief in what he has done on Calvary. Lord to God, if I don't take it to heart, it's not going to be at heart. Amen. But if I believe in what he has done for me, I just preach not long ago. Amen. He that believeth on me out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. But you notice that we got to believe it. Amen. That God has it for you and I. It's for me. It's for you. Everything that God has got, you got to believe it's for you and I. Now we say this. Amen. Lord to God, what the Bible says, when he comes back to earth, will he find faith? Let me tell you something about that to my belief. This say, I got a revelation. I just want to tell you something. I believe when he's talking about that, he's talking about Christians. He's talking about those that's marching on for him. Glory to God, will he come? Because why? There's a great falling away. Don't kid yourself. We can see it all around. You know why? You know why it is? It ain't because of faith. Because they quit believing in faith. They quit believing in the word of God. They quit believing in the standards that God has laid out for us. They quit believing in what the church is supposed to do and they go on their own methods. They go on their own way because why? Most of Christians you talk to anymore that has changed their way of life. They don't believe the same way. They don't believe that you got to do all of that. They don't believe it's that kind of standard no more. They don't believe you got to be that fanatic. You know, they don't believe you got to walk that straight. But the Bible tells me, Lord to God, we have to. But sometimes we quit believing. And when we quit believing, Lord to God, we begin to find ourselves in nothing but doubt. Is God real? Is the situation real? What are we doing? Is it real? Is us coming to church? Is it real? It's just as real you will let it be. I said, praising God, it's just as real as you believe it can be for you has the dance and all that on the stages. Now, they believe this is all right now. If it was wrong back then, how can it be right now? You quit believing in what was right. You let me go ahead and tell this to you right now. If you're not careful that spirit to get into you and you to drive you over there to somebody else. Don't think it won't now. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. That's a spirit that is coming, creeped into church. And if you're not careful, that spirit will get in you. And you'll think it's right because everybody else is doing it. Because you quit believing in what you believed in. And 
When you ever modify what God has established, you come into be a counterfeit. And a counterfeit is nothing but a counterfeit. It's never the genuine. Let me tell you, I know what I'm talking about. That spirit will come to you. Let me tell some of you this. Be careful with a lot of these temporary songs. Be careful with them. Because I'm telling you, that's driven. A lot of that is driven by a spirit. Whoo, glory to God. It sounds good because it makes me feel I'm free. Whoever the Son is set free, you are free indeed. A song he wants set me free. That's what set a lot of people free, or they call it to be free. Where was it the true conversion of Christ into their lives? Because why? They are still believe. That it takes it. Why well, I'm not telling you. God ain't going to give you some understanding on some things. I'm not telling you God don't deal. He, there's some things God deals with everybody on the same base. I can tell you that. But there's some personal convictions I have to bear myself. I can't allow you to bear them, but I have to bear them myself. I can't push it on you, and you can't push it on nobody else. And if you do, you got out of the will of God, and you brought your doctrine in. You brought your thoughts in. You thought your belief in, and you quit believing what God said. He said, come as you are. Praise the Lord. He said, I don't look at on the outside of a man, but I look at on the inside of a heart. Let me tell you something. I know we say the words. Lord, God, if it ever get clean on the inside, it, it comes clean on the outside. I don't disagree with that. But there are some claiming that's good on the inside. But I'm telling you, there's some nothingness on the outside. So don't tell me that. He still got that haughty spirit. They still have it. They think they're the only ones. They still have it. It's me. It ain't got nothing to do with you. The only reason I'm back here from that Wednesday night is because of the strength of the Almighty God. The only reason I come back after the surgery that Sunday morning is because of the strength of God. Let me tell you, it ain't nothing because I'm special and God needs me to fulfill this pulpit. God can use ever who he wants to, who's believing in him. He don't have to have me, but I got news for you this morning. I got to have him. Thomas. Thomas said, unless, but listen, Thomas, he's came and visited us. Thomas said, no, I'm not accepting that. 